Welcome everyone for another video of uh, the Delft 3D tutorial. Uh, so today uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to extract bathymetry uh, from a Delft dashboard. Uh, this is to help all those uh, new researchers or even uh, for those who are working on a, on a new project on a new area where they don't have any bathymetry data. Uh, so they can easily uh, download those data from Delft dashboard and uh, apply it for their modeling and uh, yeah and work on it uh, so those of you who uh, yeah the bathymetric data is actually the bottom level data of, of, of a certain area uh, so normally what it uh, what normally what people do is use echo sounder uh, whether it's a multi beam echo sounder or a single beam echo sounder uh, to uh, to acquire those data and this can be very expensive uh, for, for, for certain projects uh, but um, uh, there's a lot of uh, freely available bathymetric data uh, but in Delft dashboard what's uh, very uh, very good is uh, that uh, they have uh, that all those uh, not I, I'll not say all of the uh, available data but uh, most of the available bathymetric data in their uh, in their server and you can easily download those from the Delft dashboard. So uh, let's start with the with the with the uh, tutorial. So after opening the Delft dashboard, you have a screen, certain uh, screen like this. And uh, in order to download your bathymetry, what you need to do is uh, first uh, let me show you uh, what kind of bathymetric data available here. You can do that uh, by clicking in the bathymetry tab in the topmost uh, panel and you'll see that there are a lot of uh, data sets available in the Delft dashboard. Uh, in this uh, context you actually don't know what the datum is because a datum is a very important thing for your model because if you have a boundary data on a different datum and you have a bathymetric data on, a, on another, another datum then you will have not have uh, uh, an ideal model then you will have a uh, a model working on different uh, datum systems which will give uh, incorrect uh, model results uh, so for that you need to know what datum that data is so in order to find that datum uh, just click on the uh, bathymetry tab in the bottom here uh, sometimes if you don't see that you just click on the model maker and then click on the bathymetry and you will see that uh, it's, it's available there so here there's a lot of uh, bathymetric data available if you just use this one, you'll see that the datum is mentioned here in the datum is MSL. So it's a min C level, the datum is in min C level. If you just remove this one and add another one here as well, that you'll also see it's min C level, but not all the data sets are in min C level. If you use this data set, you'll set it's EZM96 datum, so it's not in min C level. So you need to find, uh, you know, find how this datum uh, is shifting shifted from the mean sea level so uh, so yeah uh, you need to check those uh, before using this this data for your for your model purpose uh, there are other data as well uh, for instance uh, this one is also mean sea level so yeah uh, this one is as well mean sea level so you can you can see that uh, uh, here is the here the datum is the mean high water uh, mean high water uh, water level. So this is not uh, the mean sea level, rather it's uh, another different uh, different datum system. So I just wanted to uh, let you know that there's a different datum system. So when you when you use these uh, data uh, from the Delft dashboard, you need to uh, be uh, very careful of the datum that you're using uh, because uh, if you're using different datum for your model and for your for your boundary condition, then uh, your model will give uh, inaccurate results and uh, it will face that uh, your calibration doesn't look okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, so so yeah. For that reason, I needed to show this one for to you. So let's get started with the downloading. How to download this data? So in order to download the data, just uh, click on the toolbox here and uh, click on the bathymetry tab, and you'll see that uh, this all these data sets are available. Uh, the data set are showing here. Just zoom in the area that you want to uh, download your data. For instance, let me let me zoom in here, and you'll see that. Uh, 
when you zoom in uh, in the in certain area that area detail is is, is getting uh, more detailed so yeah so now uh, you can easily download this data and uh, for uh, for your convenience if you want to download this data in lat long it can be uh, normally the by default it's in lat long but if you want to change your coordinate system for instance in uh, utm system you can just click on uh, select utm zone and uh, then uh, then select the the utm uh, zone and and download the data in in, in utm context uh, if if it's convenient for you but uh, anyway you can transform it uh, after after downloading it uh, with with GIS uh, software so so that's not a big deal but if you want directly from here you can do that uh, really easily by selecting coordinate system so for instance let's uh, let's let me uh, let me extract the uh, GEPCO 2008 data so in order to do that first draw a polygon here from And if you draw this polygon, and if you, uh, yeah, so now uh, if you do this, and then uh, you just uh, export the data, it will export the uh, existing bathymetric data that are available in that polygon area region. You can download it very easily by ex selecting export. One thing I need to mention it says positive up and uh, positive down. It means that whether you want your uh, uh, data to be uh, in in a in a level mode or in a in a chart datum mode uh, so what happens is in chart datum are uh, normally uh, the upside areas are denoted as negative and uh, downside areas are denoted as or, or the or the deepest part of your areas are 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 uh, are positive in the chart datum system but in the land level system the uh, the bottom level is, uh, is, is, uh, is is negative and the upper areas are positive so if you select positive is up then uh, it's, it's a normal system that you uh, that uh, the bottom level or, or the deepest part would be in negative in negative uh, side so just export it I just wanted to mention because uh, sometimes people get uh, very confused with this kind of things um, so let's uh, let's uh, let's download this in a new folder let's tutorial and uh, let's say test and save it here so the data is already exported uh, let me uh, see if the data is uh, already there or not uh, you can easily do that uh, by uh, uh, opening a Delft, uh, Delft uh, 3D uh, uh, FM uh, model or you can also look into it in quick plot um, I don't know why I used the Delft 3D this, this time but yeah you can do uh, do do it in, in both ways uh, I'll probably show you in how to do it in the both uh, system so add a new model and then uh, this is a, this is not a to uh, get uh, yeah get started with a new model but uh, just uh, to open the grid tab so yeah rgf grid uh, so now just uh, attribute files and uh, open samples from xyz and then you can go to your uh, required location i think it's in the uh, okay yeah so it should be in this one okay so yeah in the tutorial you have the XYZ files and you will see that yes this is the data actually you extracted from from that uh, using that polygon uh, I forgot to mention one thing uh, though let me go to the Delft dashboard again um, when you uh, download the data you will see that there's a uh, the grid system or the resolution of data how 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 coarse or how fine the resolution of the data you'll see that this is uh, this shows the resolution here uh, so if you select on each of the uh, data sets you'll see that how much uh, what's the resolution for that uh, that that data sets for instance the gap co08 it has a 926 meter of resolution so so each data is 926 meter apart uh, 
if you look into STM system, you have only 31 meters, so it's a fairly a finer grid uh, data. Uh, in uh, STM 4.1, you have 93 meters, so uh, you can you can also see uh, you can see the resolution of the data that you are downloading it. I'll ju I just wanted to show you this one as well. So um, I just show you that you can extract the data and uh, get it in X Y Z and uh, use it in in your model. Uh, let me show you in the uh, in the uh, uh, Delph uh, uh, 3D quick plot. So you want uh, let's start the quick plot. Ah, sometimes it takes a little bit more time than uh, than normal. <laughs> Okay, it's open now. Um, <clears throat> so, in order to do that, uh, let me select all files or sample files. Uh, so, yeah. And then let me go to that location. Okay. Software, then dev dashboard, and tutorial, and test. So yeah, yeah. So you can see that this 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 is the mathematic data that we have downloaded it <coughs> in the quick plot. Um, yeah, and the resolution is 923 meter. Um, I'd say it's a very coarse resolution data. But what you can do is you can download different uh, data sets. For instance, uh, for your Mathematic uh, for 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 a higher resolution of, of the data that you you need, you can download a different sets of data, uh, but uh, be uh, uh, careful with the datum system again. Uh, if you have the same datum system, you can use that one. Uh, just merge it uh, with with each other. Uh, then after merging it, do ch do check uh, whether whether it's uh, it's synchronized with each other or or not. Uh, otherwise, you will find it uh, difficult that uh, you will have some hump in the model uh, in the in the bathymetry, uh, which uh, is uh, normally in, in naturally that's not present. So yeah, uh, you can you can check this one. So this was a quick video how to how to uh, download the bathymetry data for your uh, model um, in the in the Delft dashboard. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, yeah, if you do, please do like and share and subscribe the channel uh, for more videos. Uh, yeah, thank you.